It can be, I believe. Okay. And there's another way to do it, but I can run it through my computer. But without Ms. Wolders here, I'm not sure I can accomplish that. <laughs> okay. But Mr. Cooper, I think, can help you with that. And if okay. you want, I'll text Cooper. Are you going to need that for your opening statement? I'm not going to need it for my opening statement. Okay. Well, let me, I'm going to tell Cooper that we need him over here just for the heck of it. And uh, so you ready for the jury? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mr. Stegman? Stegmeyer? Yes, Your Honor, I am. All right. Well, bring him on in there. When the jury comes in, we're going to stand up. Okay? Gotcha. Judge, is it A legal assistant. Yes. Well, what kind of he's assistant? One of our court assistants, Judge. Well, what does that mean exactly? That means that he just assists us. In he, he's not going to. How does he assist you if he's not sitting next to you? I'm sorry. No. no. What, what did you say? He's not. How does he assist you if he's not sitting next to you? Judge, <laughs> today, with today's technology, there's a way to communicate. There's right. signs like in baseball. All right. Yeah. And that's fine. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. I don't know why we just don't put him in a chair over there somewhere. You know what well, I mean? We have another, well, I guess we there's one of them over there. Yeah, there's all kinds. There's more chairs over here. I'll rest for the jury. You guys need to spin around a little bit. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Price, Mr. Stegman, Mr. Shore, come up here for one second. Yes, Mr. Price. Mr. Price, uh, now this case was referred back for the grand jury. That's correct. Uh, and we, what case charges are we proceeding uh, on? Resisting the All right. that have true bill, TB society. Okay, that's it. Not uh, this one. That's correct. That's the software. Right. That's so, software. Thanks. Thanks, Josh. All right, everybody have a seat if you would. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to welcome you to uh, Division 204 of Jefferson District Court. I'm Judge Sean Delahanty. Uh, I need to call the roll to make sure we got everybody, all the jurors here in a, in a uh, workable order. Uh, so if you hear your name called, uh, indicate that you're here. And I'm going to apologize for mispronouncing anybody's name right off the bat. Gene Smith? Here. Okay. That's, okay. Uh, Karen Callahan? Here. Anita O'Connor? Here. Uh, Jamie Lucas? Here. Linda Hatfield? Here. John Banks? Megan Evans, uh, Ashley McKay, yes. Richard is uh, Stoltz, Here. Uh, Anthony Scott, Here. Cheryl Ernspiker, uh, Luann Snyder, Here. Raymond Nowacki. Here. How do you pronounce that, sir? Nowacki. Nowacki. Oh, excellent. Uh, Emily Feldman. Uh, Lee Wheeler? Here. Uh, Dorothy Ash Locke? Yeah, here. Uh, Nisha Hawkins? Here. Paul Clay? Here. Uh, Jeremy, uh, is it Cremines? Yes. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. All right. Uh, Larry Wood? Here. All right. Okay, I need all of you to, I need to swear you in. First of all, do uh, any of the lawyers have a challenge to the panel? Uh, none from the Commonwealth. No challenge, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Now, each of you raise your right hands. 
All right. Uh, do each of you swear or affirm that you will give true and correct answers to all questions of, that will be asked of you by the court and counsel for the respective parties with regard to your qualifications to, uh, as jurors in the case of the Commonwealth of Kentucky versus Jonathan Masters? Yes? All right. Now, it's important that you be candid. Uh, we are not trying to invade your privacy. Uh, if at any time a question is asked of you that you would prefer to answer uh, uh, privately, we can arrange that. But it is very important that you be candid because all we're attempting to do is to uh, impanel a fair and impartial jury for all parties involved. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions. That, uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions. I, I hate these questions, but I'm going to ask them. They're just silly. Is everybody uh, here, is there anybody on the panel who is not a U.S. citizen? Is there any member of the panel who's not at least 18 years of age? And uh, this case, we are going to try this case this afternoon, Monday afternoon, and perhaps uh, Tuesday. And it could be Tuesday in the morning, Tuesday in the afternoon if we don't uh, complete it this afternoon and Monday afternoon. So I need to know if there's anybody on the panel who has been excused, uh, certainly for service, on um, this Monday afternoon. So everybody's available for Monday afternoon? Now, uh, uh, all right. uh, does anybody believe that we're going to go to Wednesday? I certainly hope not, Your Honor. All right. We think we're going to get it done Monday and Tuesday, uh, or not today and Monday is what we think we're going to get done. All right. Now, is, do any of you all have a medical condition that would prevent you from sitting uh, periods of an hour to an hour and a half. And that's with the understanding that if someone needs a break, you get a break. You just raise your hand and we just get a break at that, at that moment. All right. Now, you've been summoned to serve as a jurist today in the criminal case of the Commonwealth of Kentucky versus uh, Jonathan Masters. And the defendant, Mr. Masters, has been charged with resisting arrest, menacing, and disorderly conduct. And he's entered a plea of not guilty and has a, a raised issues of fact to be determined by a jury. So there's a factual issue, so we have to impanel uh, a jury. Now, the questions that are asked of uh, you by me, uh, Mr. Price and Mr. Stegmeyer, or Mr. Shore, again, are uh, not, we're not trying to embarrass anybody or invade your privacy, but um, again, we're only attempting to uh, impanel a fair and an impartial jury. If at any point in time, again, you're uncomfortable and you want a private conversation, uh, uh, raise your hand and we can arrange that. Appearing for the defendant today are uh, two lawyers, and that is, uh, let's see, it's Jesse Shore and Ian Stegman, Stegmeyer, Stegmeyer. Now, Mr. Stegmeyer, can you introduce everybody and any witnesses you might intend to call? Yes, Your Honor. My name is Ian James Stegmeyer. And I am the attorney for John Masters, who is all the way at the left, and my co-counsel is Justice Shore. All right. Thank you. Now, uh, Mr. Carl Price represents the Commonwealth. And uh, Mr. Price, can you uh, introduce yourself and any uh, witnesses or associates you might have? Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Carl Price, I'm an assistant Jefferson County attorney with the uh, Jefferson County Attorney's Office. I'm the prosecutor assigned to this case. Sitting to my left is uh, Detective Joel Case of the Louisville Metro Police Department. Thank you, Mr. Case. I mean, Detective Case. Sitting to my right is Detective Aaron Brown of the Louisville Metro Police Department. And sitting to his right is uh, a legal assistant from the Jefferson County Attorney's Office, David Spaulding. All right. Is uh, any member of the panel personally acquainted with any of these people that you've just been introduced to? Any of you all believe that a family member may have some personal connection to any of the people that you've been introduced to? No. All right. And uh, so this is your the end of your first week in uh, uh, as jurors? Yes. Uh, what I need to do is find out, and the question is this, have any of you all, either in this uh, uh, period of service or in previous <laughs> periods of jury, jury service, uh, sat on a uh, a uh, criminal or civil jury trial. Is there anyone? Okay. And let me see here. And uh, Ms. Hatfield, was it this time or a time before? This time. Yesterday. All right. What yep. was the, n say it again? Yesterday and the day before. All right. Uh, what was the nature of the case? Someone was suing our bus line for the, for the amount that was civil and circuit court. 
Did you all reach a verdict? Yes, we did. Okay. All right. Anybody else in the first row? Uh, Ms. Callahan? Yes. Um, I was in the jury pool, but they settled it yesterday before we even got into the courtroom to hear any evidence. All right. Okay. Anybody else in the first row? On the second row? Okay. Is that uh, Anthony Scott? Yes, sir. <clears throat> I, I was in a, up on level 703 with Judge Cunningham. Cypress technology for uh, discrimination at the workplace, hostile okay. work environment. So it's a, it was a civil case, and was it this period of time here? Yes, sir. It was the last three days. Okay. And uh, um, did you all uh, reach a verdict? Yes, we did. All right. Anybody else on the second row? All right. On the third row? All right. Let me see here. Is it Ms. Feldman? Yes. Uh, what was the nature of the case? How long ago? How long ago? Uh, Just an estimate. Like yeah. Okay. Was it in Jefferson County? Yes, it was. All right. So it was a criminal case of stalking. Did you all reach a verdict? Yes, we did. All right. Anybody else on the third row? All right. On the fourth row? No, fifth. Yeah, it's a fourth row. We're going to go with uh, Miss Miss Ashlock. So the one yesterday, you all didn't get to deliberate or hear testimony or anything. Now, long ago, and what kind of case was that? All right. Uh, did you all reach a verdict? Was it here in Jefferson County? Yes. Okay. All right. Anyone else on the fourth row? Uh, Ms. Hawkins? I was on the same case as Anthony was. And that was the, uh, and you all re reached a verdict? Yes. Okay. So that was the hostile workplace. Okay, civil case. Anybody else on the fourth row? Mr. Uh, uh, is it Cremines? Yes. Okay. The same case as Anthony here on the Okay. Environment. And you reached, your, you reached the verdict. Yes, sir. And we got some of the hardest working jurors. We got, you came off a jury trial yesterday and you're here again. Yeah. All right. Now, Mr. Wood? Uh, a criminal case about 10 years ago. We came to a verdict. verdict? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry, they, are the disability cases, they're not? They are. They're part of the civil, the civil Yeah, that would be, well, they're a civil uh, jury. I, was, I served on a civil. Disability case. Yes, three of them on Tuesday. I know. And then about eight years ago, I did as well. Okay, so you've been disability. in the, yeah, you've been in the disability court trials. Correct. I thought that was maybe the answer. No, no. Uh, but it was both this time and a previous yeah. period of service. And did you reach verdicts on all those? All right. Okay. I also was on the trial with the disability. Okay. And are you Miss Wheeler? Yes. Okay, so you were on the disability. Yes. And um, all right, and you all reached verdicts. Okay, hang on for a second. Is it uh, Miss Snyder? Yes. I was picked for a jury the other day, but they settled. Okay. And you, did you hear testimony? No. All right. They settled before the trial actually got started, yes. other than selecting the jury? Exactly. All right. Was it a criminal case or a civil case? Yes, criminal. criminal. Okay. Uh, anyone else? All right. Now, um, these events occurred on, uh, you know, the incident occurred uh, December 7 of 2012. And again, you heard the charges of resisting arrest, menacing, and disorderly conduct. Uh, does uh, any of all, do any of you all believe that you have any, you've heard of this case at all? Have you heard any of the facts of the case? All right. Now, I'm going to ask you this question, and again, I'll ask you this question in a, in a minute. I need to know if there's any member of the jury that um, can think of a reason that would prevent them from giving uh, both the Commonwealth and the defendant a, uh, f uh, a fair and uh, impartial verdict based solely on the evidence that you hear and the instructions of the law. Can any of you all think of any reason that would prevent you all, you believe, from being fair and impartial to both sides in, in this case? All right. I find this uh, jury qualified, and now I'm going to let you, uh, Mr. Price, 
I'll begin for the Commonwealth. <coughs> Thank you, Your Honor. 